I impress. Who are we talking to? Maura Nelson, running for Monmouth County Freeholder. Oh, uh, well, good luck on that one. But I like to see a Democrat out there because it's all Republicans out there. You can't trust them to uh, rein things in, can we? Uh, no comment. No Thank comment? You, you don't want to talk about Sean Golden? No, not Sheriff really. of the county and also day. Republican chairman? Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, okay. What do you think about Pelosi? Thank you. Have a good day. You don't want to talk about her looniness? No? You have a good day. Thank you, sir. You know how there's like a well, Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. How are you, Ron? I'm John from New Jersey Exposed YouTube channel, Press. Let's go. So what do you have to say? What are you doing here? What's your story? Well, we're trying to, I'm a non-politician. I want to get involved with the town since I was involved with St. Jerome's, coach softball for 10 years. You're not a lawyer? I'm not a lawyer. I'm an ATT employee. All right. Engineering background. And you want to lower taxes. How are you going to do that? Lower them or stabilize them? Well, bring in smart growth. Bring in the right businesses to lower our, our taxes. How about uh, slowing the growth of... Uh, uh, building houses in the town because we know smart, that has to be smart growth. Yes, uh, that's right. Because, because we know all those kids causes the uh, taxes. That's right. It's a burden to the uh, school system. Now, yes. are you a Republican, a Democrat? What are you? We're nonpartisan. You're independent. Nonpartisan for the town. Right? It's, it, it's it's for the town. It's what you do best for the town. Like, uh, how long have you been living in Titton Falls? Twenty-six years. Twenty-six years. Well, you know, I grew up in this town. I went right to that school over there. Started there at five years of age. They built it up since then. Yeah, it's, it's a lot bigker since yes. then. So, all right, let me. Have one of your uh, placards there. That's our and, uh, platform. And then here's the bio on the three of us. Okay. Uh, Ron's been here like 30 plus years. Ken, Ken Asmore, he's here 28 years. He established a business here also, and he's a resident here. Okay. I'm. So, uh, you can find me on YouTube, New Jersey Exposed. Okay. You'll be on there later today. Thank you. Now, who are you? You look like a game host to me. <laughs> uh, my name is Ron. You look like that teacher from uh, what is that? Uh, Oh, what was that movie in the 80s there, uh, The Breakfast Club? I had, you know, people told me that, the, uh, the principal, right? The principal. The principal yeah. No, he wasn't a principal, he was a teacher or something. Oh, was he a teacher? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so who are you? So I, my name's Ron Walner. I've lived in uh, Titton Falls for over 30 years. Uh, I love the town. I was just, uh, decided I was going to run for council. I, I, love, I love living here. What do you do for a living? I owned the computer company for most of my life. Oh, you're not a lawyer, right? I'm not a lawyer, no. All right, that's the uh, start. Recently retired. Are you a Democrat? Uh, I'm in Ah, uh, well, you stumbled on his words, so I'll that's a what, yes. I, I'll be honest with you, I do lean a little to the right. I, I try to make common sense decisions. I look at the issues. And so you don't support Pelosi? No, I don't. Okay, well, that's a start. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to meet in the middle with you already. No, I, 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 uh, I love my country. I love God and my country. And, uh, I'm, I'm for doing what's right, and that's my position. Hey, what's your position on uh, immigration, illegal immigrants? I don't, I'm against the illegal immigration. I think I think people should be let in, but they should be let in legally, right? I mean, right. See, I'm liking this guy already, and no, I don't even know. No, I mean, we, we, we need people in this country. These things need to be done, but they should be let in legally. And, now, what do you feel about the growth here in uh, Titton Falls? In the what? The growth. The growth in Titton Falls? It's uh, booming out here. Um, I'll be honest with you. I'm not too happy with the uh, new development. That's, uh, going up right, because that puts the taxes up, but all the kids going to school, right? Well, Come on, yeah, let's you, say. You, you obviously like seeing new developments if you can have that. Um, but you know, there was a nice property over there that tore it all apart, broke my heart. I actually own a property across the street. Um, it's a small farm. I grew up in this town. I used yeah. to be all woods and sand back yeah. there on that yeah. side, so, on the west side. You know, it's not exactly the development I'd like to see. Um, I, I prefer to be maybe senior housing. I'm not too excited also about the commercial aspect of that development over there. So yeah, Titan um, Falls has exploded. So, all right, let me have some of your placards here. Okay. Yeah. Or is that the same as this? No, yeah, you got that. Okay. Listen, hey, sir. All right. I am uh, John from New Jersey John. Exposed on YouTube. Your Great. face will be on there later awesome. tonight Thank if I get so time. Much. All right. Thank have you. a good day. John from New Jersey Exposed on YouTube. Where is Mr. Gopal? He was just here. He's, he went I, have a, I have a bone to pick with him. He doesn't like the First Amendment. He blocked me on Facebook. He's I risking. That, that means he doesn't like the First Amendment. Well, he's a public official and he's using that Facebook in an official capacity and he is violating my free speech. I wanted to get his word on that maybe. 
I want to try to avert a lawsuit. That's what I'm trying to uh, get at, you know. Did you write anything wrong? No, he, no. I just I do say things I just express myself that are contrary maybe to some of his views. I think I asked him a very good, easy question, like how much money have you saved the taxpayers? That's a tough question. He didn't want to answer it. He blocked me. That sure is. That might be why he blocked you. What's that? That might be why he blocked you if you go up to people with cameras in their faces. This is a public place, isn't it? It is. Absolutely. He is a public official, right? I'm just saying, like, I personally. Like, well, I know who I am. Yeah. He's a public guy. Well, if he comes around, tell him New Jersey Exposed is asking about him. Is it exposed or exposed? Exposed. And he, my name is John Van Dyke. He, he blocked me on his uh, Facebook page, and I would appreciate it if he would unblock me. I will let him know. Let him know. I don't, I don't want to have to sue him. I, re, I really don't. I've already got one going. I don't want another lawsuit. Just, you know, not everybody's going to have the same opinion as him, and that's what makes us a great nation, that we can have different opinions and try to... Just out of curiosity, yeah. what, what would be the grounds of your lawsuit? Uh, he's, he's violating my civil rights. He is a public official. That is his public Facebook page, and the courts have ruled that they're not supposed to block. But I don't think it's illegal. It might not be illegal it's per not. se, but it is a violation of my civil rights. If it's not illegal, how, how can you how can you uphold the con take a note to uphold the Constitution when somebody says something that you don't it's contrary to your your standing and then block them on that? I don't think that's the reason why it blocked you. Well, I think it's because you're very invasive and you make people uncomfortable. I make them. I'm not responsible for how people want to act. You're trying to you put that. Play a part in it. You're trying to play a responsibility on. Put that on me now for your behavior. No, I'm just trying to say that I'm telling you. All I listen. I never said nothing bad to Mr. Gulpul. It doesn't matter. You have a camera and you put in people's faces. Well, I go around to all, I go around to all the candidates here and I ask them questions. You're the only one that seems to be having an issue. Would you like me to go away? Yeah. Okay. Well, you had to let Mr. Goldfield that I was asking about. Thank you. Flag. Fix your ear, honey. Ready? And then I just want the candidates with the candidates. All right, one more. Get out. Hold it this way. Let's get out. Ah, this, this, this is my favorite crew right here. Is it? Are you going to vote for Ron Don Ken? No. Ron Don Ken. No matter what. Now we're looking at you. Now we're looking at you. I can't look. Oh, my God. All right, look at me. All right, Sean. My handsome friend. Thank you. Go, go, man. Well, we have a freeholder. We have a sh Tommy. Are you, come on, Tommy. Why are you running away? Because I'm. A, I am late for a wedding. And I'm late for this I, guy. I, does never passes up an opportunity for a camera. I Look know, at this. You're right. Look at that. And Sean Golden. He's never going to talk to me. Isn't that right, Sean? You don't like me, do you? Good luck on your run. All right, guys, up ahead we have Officer Rios from Titton Falls Police. He's famous for shooting a dog at the person's door. Did a story on it. Let's see if he has anything to say. Mr. Rios, you got anything to say about that dog you shot? No, I'm talking about the one you shot. I'm Mr. Gunnison, yeah. You want to clear yourself, or you got nothing to say about it? I'm not trying to convict you or anything. I don't, I don't know if you're supposed to be here in front of me. Why not? Should we call our lawyers and see what's going on? Really? Have you heard of the First Amendment? I knew you were Mr. Politico. I knew it. Yeah. yeah. Now, this yeah. is a public event, and you're a public employee, right? Hey, Bonnie, say hi to Mr. Fulton here. Say hi. This is my dog. You want to meet her? She's German Shepherd and No, nah, that's okay. Okay, so she's going to stay in front. That's all right. Did you cost the taxpayers any money on that? Or? Have a nice day, sir. Did you cost the taxpayers any money on that? I know what you're trying to do, but it's not going to happen. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of things. Okay, well, we understand. You don't want to talk about it. Have a nice day. No, you have a nice day. I'm having a nice day already.